Hey guys, what's going on? It's Anthony from Switch and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. So during the Nintendo Direct, we obviously got like a new trailer that they've shown off. But they also had uh, shown some gameplay in Nintendo Treehouse Live. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, I'll be linking that stuff down in the description below if you guys want to, you know, check that stuff out. But yeah, man, anyways, Nintendo showed off Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm definitely excited to see, like, you know, that game, like, as far as it comes out, because, like I mentioned in previous videos, uh, well, like, one video, I think it was, that the last Pokemon game that I played was personally Pokemon X, no, <clears throat> excuse me, it was Pokemon Y, that game was probably one of the funniest games that I think I've ever played, you know, as far as a Pokemon game, because, you know, I, I think that's when they transitioned from, like, the 2D feel of Pokemon into like a 3D feel. Plus, like you could change like the skin color of your character, and you could customize your clothing and stuff. And it was more like uh, open world. Like it, like Pokemon's already open world, but like with X and Y, it's like they definitely expanded that. And far as like you could actually like feel like you were in a this vast world of like where there's like a lot of characters and there's like all these different experiences versus like you know you're just going from town to town and it's like so linear where x and y i feel like it was more like um like not so linear like you could you know do other things before you got to towns you know you actually felt like you were traveling versus like you know you have to rush the story so that was kind of cool and then this get went into more detail about like the little raids that they're gonna be doing <clears throat> for some reason like when they said raids, like, I instantly thought of Destiny raids, <laughs> because, like, that's the only game that I've uh, played that, you know, has mentioned something like that. I think Xenoverse uh, 2 also mentioned those, but um, that's besides the point. Like, the fact that you could hop in these raids and you could catch these, you know, ginormous Pokemon, and then, you know, you could also make uh, one of your partner's Pokemon, like, Giant 2, and then you guys are facing off, and you have all these, like, graphics and, like, you know, like, hype going on throughout the battle. Like, that's one of the coolest things, I think, you know, that they added as far as, like, you know, new experiences for as far as, like, people that want to play this game. Something else that I seen that they uh, did was that, um, like, the, the Dynamax feature, like, I don't know how often you'll be able to do that. You know, they said that that replaced the Mega Evolution <clears throat> from, like, the, again, like, going back to X and Y, you know, the mega evolution that they introduced into that game, like, that was one of the coolest things I've seen, like, a alternative form of, like, an already existing Pokemon that makes them stronger, but then they have this, you know, new, you know, appearance to where, like, they become even stronger, like, I think that's, that was really dope, like, was something that they introduced in X and Y, but with, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, it's not gonna be, like, an alternate form, it's gonna be, like, a more bigger, better, and, like, more powerful form of, like, the Pokemon, like, they're not gonna change forms, but, like, they become, like, gargantuan, which is freaking crazy, dude, <laughs> so that's, that's definitely gonna be fun, like, as far as, like, seeing that, and then something else they've shown off was that, um, like, the, the cycle now, like, instead of you just, like, riding on the sidewalks and, like, the dirt, like, you can actually, like, cycle through the water, too, so I thought that was pretty cool, too, like, you know, they add, like, these little, like, flotation devices and, like, the wheels, and you're, like, cruising through the freaking water, <laughs> and, like, you're trying to either, like, run into Pokemon or, like, run away from them, like, it just makes the experience, as far as, like, Pokemon Sword and Shield, like, it makes it a lot more, you know, easier to transition versus, like, you're just, like, walking. Another thing it seemed like, too, is that, like, you could make the bike uh, go faster, you know, through the, this is all from, like, the gameplay, and again, guys, like, if what I'm saying, like, doesn't make sense, like, I'll make sure to link down the stuff in the description box below, so that you guys can, like, see what Nintendo is showing off during their Treehouse Live, but, um, something else that they showed off was the new, uh, gym leader, her name was Nessa, and she's gonna be a water type, from what I've seen, so now we know of two gym leaders, we know of Milo, which is the grass type, and then we have Nessa, which is the water type, now, if Nessa or Milo is the first gym leader, I don't quite remember, <laughs> so, but, but those are the, like, the first, uh, couple of gyms that I know that we're gonna encounter, 
But as far as, like, uh, the gameplay that they, that they showed, like, it was definitely, like, good seeing, like, how animated the Pokemon are now. You know, they're not some, like, bland features. Like, they're almost becoming, like, more realistic. So that's kind of cool, too. Also, with, like, uh, during the gameplay that they, that they were showing, excuse me, uh, the guy was, like, crouching in the uh, grass to avoid Pokemon. Like, he wasn't, um, you know, running at him. Like, he was crouching so, like, the Pokemon didn't see him. Because, like, some of the Pokemon were, like, really small. And then, like, other ones were, like, really big. And that, I feel like that's interesting, too, because they're introducing... I don't know if they've ever done this before, but, like, they're introducing, like, to where, like, you can encounter stronger Pokemon from early on. Versus, like, you know, you gotta wait till you get to almost the Elite Four before you can get any good Pokemon. And, again, they could have done it in, like, Sun and Moon. But, again, I didn't play Sun and Moon, so, like, I don't really know if, you know, they did that. But I think that's really cool because it's like, you know, if you're struggling with like a gym or something, like you can always, you know, try to do your best to level up the current part you have. And then if a Pokemon is like a little bit stronger than the current part that you have, like, you can go try and catch them and then, you know, try to re-challenge the gym that you lost to or the training you lost to. So I definitely can see like where that's going to add a lot of value for trainers that are like in the beginning stages. So, <clears throat> um... I'm definitely looking forward to seeing, like, what else they involve as, like, as far as Pokemon X and Y. And I'm definitely going to cop this game day one. Like, I'm really excited to see, like, what else they're going to reveal as far as this game. But, yeah, um, I hope you guys liked this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And make sure you get, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, guys, what's going on? It's Anthony from Switch, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to...